All right, this is Lucille. Say hi, Lucille. Hello. Hi. So, um, with double reeds, you are a clarinet player. So with double reeds, the reason why we put them in water is because we can't wet the inside of the reed with our spit. So that's why we have this fine little thing, and I'm just going to let it soak while we put the instrument together. Okay. So first off, let's get this belt in position, because this is a pretty old bassoon, so it falls apart in places that it should not fall apart. Um, you sit on this strap, and you want it to be more towards like the front of your seat here. Okay. So go ahead and have a seat on it, and we may have to adjust it accordingly here. Um, once we hook the bassoon on because you want to make sure the bogle comes straight into your mouth. Okay. So this here is the lovely boot joint. And lovely. it has a nice little hook down here that goes on there. So I'm going to have you hold this okay. while I bring out the next one. So what's the name of this joint? The boot joint. Yes. Okay. And then we have this lovely joint, which is the tenor joint. Okay. So with this one, we have, it's there's two joints here that line yeah. up. Um, and we put this one in first because it has this hole here that the long joint clips into with this little thing. Oh, okay. Oh, I see that. So this slides in the side with no keys. That makes sense. Yeah. And then we want to make sure that they're lined up right. So that way that slides right in there to hold them together. Oh, okay. Very cool. So what are the name of these two joints? The tenor joint and the long joint? Yes. Sick. And then just like with clarinet, we have a bell. Um, and it's important that we lift this up. Like we have that joint on clarinet yeah. that has that same that kind of idea. Bell. Yes. And it lines up right over here. Oh, nice. Yes. So that is the main body of it. And then we have one final piece called the crook, which slides in here. And I'm pretty sure this cork is pretty new because it's hard to get in there. All right. So does this kind of line up with your mouth? Or do you have to lean down to it? I don't think so. I'm going to hit a little bit. OK. Let's just go up a little bit more. Is that better? Mm -hmm. OK. Cool. So now we're going to talk about embouchure before we start playing. Okay. So kind of like with clarinet, the corners are very important. Is it, is the screen off? It's still, oh, okay. it's still going. Um, the corners. Yeah, the corners are very important with this. Um, an analogy that's been used with me is kind of thinking of your mouth as like one of those drawstring knapsack bags. <laughs> okay. So you pull it in and then you have like this round. Yeah, like that. So Okay. And then another way you can think of it, Jonah taught me, one of the professors here likes to say, ooh, baby. Ooh. So say, ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. And then leave the baby off and just go, ooh. ooh. So that's the thing I'm sure. Okay. Does that make sense? Uh-huh. Okay. So um, you don't want your teeth to be on the reed. It's okay. all just lip contact. So in a little bit of a way, like clarinet, like it doesn't cover as much of your bottom row of teeth. It just like kind of prevents your teeth from coming in contact with the reed. Okay. Okay. And another thing that's kind of different in a way from clarinet, it's really important, like, you don't have your mouth on the same part of the reed as you okay. play. So as you play higher, you take in more reed, and as okay. you play lower, I think you take in less. less. That makes sense. Yes. So you have to kind of adjust it, and if you watch Jonah or somebody else do it, they are constantly, like, rolling in mm -hmm. and out. Sure. So let's put this on here, and we'll start playing. Okay. So, um, what's really cool with clarinet, coming from clarinet to bassoon, you have, like, these basic fingerings that are the same. So, like, our C, our three finger and a thumb C, it's the same on bassoon as it is on clarinet. And we just have this as... Oh, this lower one here lower as our thumb key, and that's called the whisper key. Um, so I will later after the video because I don't want to, if we have time, um, I'll show you kind of how the fingering chart works, but we're not going to worry too much about that because okay. I want to make sure we just have like a 15 minute video. So bassoons and bass clef, 
No. Yes. And um, this is the fingering for the C. So as you can see, okay. there's a lot. It's kind of more yeah. complex than the clarinet fingering chart. Yeah. But I can explain that to you towards the end if we have time. All right. So let's see your fingerings for the C. And you can just kind of hover your fingers on the bottom above the nose. Just don't hit any more keys. Okay. Awesome. So let's hear it. Let's just see. Yeah. That's a nice sound for your first time. Okay. So then let's go C, D, E. So you want to make sure your corners come in and aren't just pulled tight. Like with clarinet, you know how we have our mm -hmm. corners pulled tight most of the mm -hmm. time? You really want to keep them in and round. <laughs> and roll out your bottom lip a little bit more. <laughs> oh, better. Yeah. All right, let's go C, D, E, F. So your F is just that thumb on the whisper key okay. and then back down. Okay. Is that right? Yeah, see? For some reason you're getting an E flat. I know. Maybe. You're not hitting anything with your left thumb, are you? I don't know. exercises here just to kind of work with those. Um, later on we'll add two more notes that are kind of new to you since you're already kind of familiar with these fingerings with clarinet. Okay. So let's hear number one. I'll give you four and you come in. Okay. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> because the mirror is over here. So I'm gonna grab my phone and I want you to just play a C and look at your mouth and try to adjust it to that roundness, bringing your corners in. I want you to kind of see and then put that together with what it feels like okay. for you. All right. Let me turn it around, that would be helpful. Okay. <laughs> should be showing. So roll it out instead of in. Yeah, that's a lot better. That's a lot better. Okay. Does that make sense mm -hmm. seeing it now? Yeah. Okay, cool. So let's do number two and keeping in mind the embouchure. Let me check the time. All right, nine minutes. Do it good. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, wait, I forgot my thumb. <laughs> All right, go ahead and just start when you're ready.
Doesn't but, that kind of feel different for you? Like, mm-hmm. after a little... It kind of tired me out first when I first yeah. started switching over to it, just because it's a totally different it's monster. Yeah, are. yeah. All right. So let's go over the B-flat fingering, and then we'll do an exercise with B-flat in it. Um, and E-flat. Okay. So that way we can get you learning new fingerings. All right. So this is the B-flat fingering. So we're going to just... Look at this diagram really fast, because I think we have enough time to go over this. So, the way it's been explained to me is that you have, like, these four different quadrants of the bassoon, right? Okay. So, with clarinet, we kind of just have three, hardly, because we have that yeah, F and the like register key, so it's like two, really. So, we have lots of extra stuff that, as beginners, we won't really get to in this lesson, but the biggest thing for you right now is this whisper key and this back quadrant of the upper half. Okay. So that is the thing you got to pay attention to, which is this lovely little key right here. Okay. Okay. And then the front, kind of like clarinet, we can ignore these two banana keys for now. Okay. And we don't have to worry about the E flat or low C sharp key. So to simplify this, we just have these three keys in the front and then the whisper key in the back. And okay. that's just the top quadrant. And then we come down here to the lower half. And we start off with this B-flat on the back. Yeah, you already got it. So that's the key you're going to be messing with back there for now. And then just like on clarinet, you have the one, two, three holes. Yeah. And even though this one's a key, it's still drawn as a hole. So don't let that confuse you. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. Okay. And then we can ignore these keys down here and the other three on the back for now. So let's see if we can figure out a B-flat fingering. Whisper key in of this guy. Okay. No third finger here. No. This one's open. Oh, okay. Yes. Sorry. It's kind of confusing because of the way it's drawn. But. Alright, let's hear B flat. Yeah. Alright, go B flat to C now. Good. So it's kind of a little bit more action than we're used to going from B flat to C on clarinet. Yeah. Okay, and then we're gonna talk about E flat real quick. I'm afraid of E flat. All right, let's see if you can figure oh. it out. So it's like B flat just without the middle finger and the top finger. Yeah. Okay. Let's hear B flat. Yeah. Go to E. Go back to E flat. Yeah. So let's do, let's do a B flat touch record. So go up to. I'm having go back go up to E flat. Sorry, I'm hot. Okay, go up to E flat and come back down in half notes. One, two, ready, go. And this will be the last thing we do on the video. Okay. And then you can ask me questions. All right. Number five. One, two, ready, go.
questions for me um not really i think it all makes a lot of sense the read is just is very thin compared yeah. to a clarinet mouthpiece which feels weird because i feel like the corners need to be so much further in yeah uh, and then the fingerings are weird as heck but they are yeah it's just it kind of once you understand the fingering chart it's a lot easier yeah. to figure out on your own yeah once you explained it yeah it, i could identify it in the book like, yeah. At first, I had no idea what was going on. Yeah, this is also an old bassoon that has some, like, keys that doesn't have keys that are on the finger. Yeah, I saw that. There's yeah. There. Yeah. So that confused me at first, but, I mean, once you can understand the chart and make sense of it, yeah. it's a lot easier. Yeah. Yeah. So. Bassoon. Bassoon. Okay. <laughs>